Hey guys, this is Akshay Nadan and welcome back to a new video. In the previous video, we saw how you can set up Crew AI uh, base project, basic project uh, using the Crew AI commands. Uh, in this video, we'll be diving deeper into agents and tasks, understanding this architecture, understanding the agents and tasks in the Crew AI project, and then we will also be creating our own crew of custom agents and custom tasks. Okay, so let's get started without wasting more time. And if you uh, don't know, the, all the videos are combined and put in this playlist. So do check out the link in the description. Okay. So first of all, whenever you create a multi-agent systems using Crew AI, then as the name defines, you have multiple agents. Now agents are uh, there for performing a dedicated task. Let's say, let's just forget about AI agents. Let's uh, consider a simple team in your company, right? right? Let's say there is a marketing team. In that marketing team, there will be multiple people, right? There will be a lot of people who will be, uh, who are hired for doing a certain task. Let's say first person uh, and that marketing team has published some content. So the first person is there for doing the market research. Okay. Second person is there for uh, drafting the content, drafting the ideas. Third person is there for reviewing the content and fourth person is there for publishing the content. Right. So in, in one marketing team, uh, which in AI agents or this uh, query terms, we call it as crew. So in marketing crew, we have certain agents who are doing their own dedicated task, assigned task. Right. Similarly, in crew AI also in a multi agent system also, let's say you are building a marketing crew itself. Right. Uh, in that crew also, you will have certain agents. Uh, first agent can be for researching uh, about ideas on the Internet. Second agent is for drafting the content. Third agent is for reviewing. Fourth agent is for publishing the content. Every agent uh, will have a role, a goal and the backstory. Role, goal and backstory. So if I take you to Crew AI, so this is our code. If you go to agents.yml file, over here, as you can see in this agent.yml file under configurations folder, we define all of the agents in the multi-agent system that we want to build. Let's say we are building a blog writer agent, right? So in that, the first agent has to do some research, right? And second uh, agent can write a report or write a blog, okay? So for the first agent, we have to define the role. So role is nothing but a single line of role. So this topic is a variable. So as you can see, this curly brackets and we have a variable over here. So let's say you are writing blogs on data science or you are writing blogs on marketing, right? So that topic is coming from the user as an input. So that's why this topic is not uh, fixed. It's not static, it's dynamic. So wherever you need to uh, have inputs from the user, you define this curly brackets and that will become a variable. Okay. So senior data researcher of this topic. So this is the role. And let's say you want your agent to perform very well. So you define roles like senior or expert or master like this, right? Goal. Goal means one single line which defines the end goal that this agent has to achieve. So over here we want this agent to uncover cutting edge developments in this topic. So this can have access to the internet search which is called a tool. So we will cover more about tools in the next video. But tool is nothing but a Python function which can perform an action. So if I take you back over here. So this agent is let's say the uh, researcher agent. This task is nothing but to perform the research for this topic and this tool number one tool is for internet search because for doing the research it needs access to the internet. Right. So this agent needs to be provided access to the internet. And let's say the second tool is for file reading access or file writing access because once it does the research it has to put all of the research into a file. So for that we need to give this agent the access to the computer file system. So that is tool number two. Okay, so that's how in a crew you have agents, you have tasks, and then you have simple Python functions which are tools. Okay, third is backstory. So you need to give some context to the agent that hey, you are already a seasoned researcher. Okay, with a knack for uncovering the latest developments in this topic. That means you're telling the agent that hey, you are already a master of this researching part for this topic. Know your ability to find the most relevant information and present it in clear and concise manner. If you don't write this line, the agent will not have any context. It might hallucinate or it might uh, not know what knowledge it is bringing on the table upfront, right? Because you are giving this agent a task. Now you need to also tell the agent that he, you are already a master of this uh, performing this task. You have already done this in the past. So this is how you define the backstory. 
so basically building an agent means you're building a new human and in this step you can actually define you can give a role to the uh, human you can give a proper goal to that human and you can give a backstory but hey you are already coming up with this uh, knowledge okay this is our first agent then you have second agent which again has this role goal and backstory so this is all about agents now if we see task in the task we have three main things now you need to understand that these three things in the agent are also are, are compulsory parameters right you need to give these parameters but there are some other parameters also which are not compulsory so if i go to qui documentation go to agents and if you see you can read more about it these are the agent attributes role goal and backstory you need to give it and others are optional like which llm you want this agent to use so by default you must have defined open ai or gemini but let's say for particular agent let's say for a summarizing agent the agent which can summarize long content you want gemini to be used why because gemini is good in summarization for uh, text generation you want gpt4 to be used so for that particular agent you can define one llm you can give tools you can give function calling llm you can have multiple parameters which you can define uh, as per your requirements and just read about these parameters whenever you get time okay but these first three parameters are compulsory okay similarly we need to understand about task so task is nothing but the work that this agent has to do so if i go to task.yml file you have research task and you have reporting task every agent will be assigned a task so in this task again you have three uh, things which are compulsory description so you have to describe that work so work is conduct a thorough research about this topic make sure you might find interesting and relevant information giving the current year is this year if you don't give this year it might come up with the previous research okay expected output is the format uh, in which you want the output to be so at the end i want a list of 10 bullet points if you don't define this it might give you a paragraph right but you want bullet points so over here you can give expected output and then attach the agent so which agent has to perform this task researcher agent has to perform this task okay great similarly you define your second task now if i get back to task over here also we have description expected output and then agent is also optional because agent can automatically detect that this task has to be done by me okay so this is also optional and otherwise you have to define description and expected output you can also define whether you want the output in a file whether you want the output in a json you want the output in a pydentic model all of these examples also you can give in that task configuration file okay so that your model that you want is uh, persisted you get the output in that particular model itself okay we will see it in the when we will be building a crew ai project so this was all about task and agents uh, next we also have tools so one tool can be web search tool one tool can be writing a file uh, one tool can be uh, uh, pu pushing the data to google sheets pushing the data to google drive all of these are tools so if you get back to crew you can see that crew ai automatically provides certain tools so these are the tools which crew ai provides by default like ap5 actors tool browser based load tool there there are various tools like file reader tool web search tool serper tool uh, llama index tool all of these tools are by default provided but you can also create your own custom tools which we will be creating in the next video but for now uh, let's go ahead and create our marketing crew ai and let's write uh, on our own agents and the task for that marketing crew okay so what i'll do is i'll go back to uh, my terminal and i am going to create a new project marketing crew ai i'll hit enter and i'm going to use gemini again i'm going to use gemini 1.5 flash and gemini apk i'll skip for now and my crew project is created as you can see marketing crew is created now inside this if i go to configuration i have this agents so these are the agents which are by default created so let's just uh, uh, call our first agent as research agent research agent and i'm creating the agents which should be a part of a crew of a marketing team a role of this will be let's say the content topic is coming from the user so let's keep the topic and let's say it is marketing researcher so that it goes on the internet and search about some references that hey this type of content is already there on this topic uh, i can take that as a reference marketing content researcher uh, i'll say goal of my agent will be on this topic and i'll define a variable like this 
Backstory, you are a seasoned researcher with a knack for uncovering the latest marketing content on this topic, on this topic. Now you're able to find the most relevant information present in a clear and concise manner. I'll keep this as same, but feel free to change it. Uh, my second agent will be writer agent. Okay. So draft role will be marketing content writer. Okay. Goal will be draft engaging content for this topic or on this topic based on references with a engaging title okay so this is the goal and backstory i want to say you are a master of drafting content marketing content based on online references you also keep seo in mind for the content you are drafting you include helpful meta tags keywords title and description in your content okay so this is the backstory that i've given to this writer agent next will be review agent reviewer agent okay reviewer agent content review content reviewing expert let's call this agent as let's give this the role uh, goal is writer so this should be the goal review the marketing content drafted by the writer provide suggestions and improvements backstory will be you are a master of reviewing content grammar seo grammar and seo you provide you provide your suggestions in a list and present it let's copy this present it in clear and concise manner okay let's just keep this but yes this is uh, the role goal and backstory that i came up with right now but go ahead experiment because this is all about prompt engineering what you are doing over here you're just writing prompts here so you have to go experiment see for which all prompts your output is getting uh, improved and then uh, you can say that you are production ready right but this is something that i came up with just now so this might not be the perfect uh, backstory rule and goal okay great now let's go to task again for this also i will have three tasks one is the research task second will be write writing task writing task and third is going to be reviewing task reviewing task okay description will conduct a thorough research uh, about marketing content on this topic on on like this you don't need to write this make sure you find any interesting relevant uh, content ideas uh, given the current year is this yes we need to give the current year expected our list of no let's not give uh, expected output will be uh, a markdown with all relevant uh, and engaging content pieces content pieces as reference you need to use the same agent name so i'll go back copy this came okay, i'll come back and paste it great uh great so this is our second task writing task write a draft on this topic based on references with a engaging title and intro okay expected output will be a markdown a markdown of the content draft on this topic okay and let's use the same agent name which is writer agent then we have the third reviewing task review the content uh review the content drafted by the writer agent try to improve it so this is the description uh improve it with suggestions expected output will again uh, be a markdown file with a list of improvements improvements okay great and let's just copy this agent name reviewer agent let's paste it over here 
so this is how you uh, define your agents and task over here you can see i have not yet defined my tools which we are going to do in the next video we will be creating a crew uh, i think we have already created it uh, but let's go to the next video we will be creating a crew and then we'll be assigning the necessary tools for doing all of this stuff and then we'll be running our crew great i hope you are enjoying this tutorial uh, this playlist and this course if you are doing it hit the like button until the next video keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot